Hi guys, welcome to part two of how to make reflections properly. In the last video, I showed you a way of how to make non-destructive reflections using layer masks. Now I'm gonna take the tutorial a little bit further this time and show you how to do box shots and things like that for your marketing materials. Now, lots of people do this wrong and it looks awful when they do it. I'm gonna show you real quick how people do it wrong before uh, I show you how to do it right so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna do, uh, or just click the actual box that I want to uh, make the reflection on. Click that Alt or Control, bring it down to roughly how I want and edit it out. Now, that's where most people leave it and what they do then is they'll create uh, a quick uh, layer mask or just uh, lower the opacity and then delete it out and then leave it like that. Now, obviously that looks pretty wrong. Uh, even if I lower the opacity down and play around with uh, different ways of uh, or different effects with the layer mask. So what I want to show you is how you can fix these edges and how you can actually bring it up. So I'm going to delete that. Uh, I'm just going to start again. So I'm going to choose the box, click down Alt or Control so it duplicates the layer. And I'm going to bring it down again. Now, of course, I can just reflect this horizontally. And all you need to do to actually fix that, I'm going to zoom in is you, what you want to do is you want to come over here and get this part of the box, click X, click V, so you make it a new layer and then just position it how it, where it was. Uh, obviously that leaves the original layer intact. Now I'm going to start off with this corner, head on up over here, click free transform. Now there are various shortcuts, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to use the, the typical commands uh, and I'm going to just bring it up to how I want it and just looking at that this line is nice and parallel with the actual line that I'm working on and again I'm just going to head on over here and do the exact same thing for the other side of the box so free transform that click perspective hold down this central node and then just bring it up so it looks nice and flush get a command that out and then for the purpose I'm just going to click on this and then just bring it up a little bit so it looks nice uh, and flat. I'm going to flatten those two layers and again what I'm going to do now is head on over here create a new layer mask make sure I've got the gradient overlay selected and I'm just going to draw a line from the top to the bottom then of course I can keep on going I can lower the opacity zoom one out and you can see we've got a nice little box shot uh, reflection here so that's how you do box shot reflections properly hopefully you've dug this video and i'll see you another one real soon bye bye